Carla, my father and I took one morning recently to see the beautiful autumnal colors around the valley and to do a bit of fishing. We started out on our way to Loon Lake, a beautiful and serene lake that has historically produced very few, albeit very tasty, fish for our family. My dad, uncles, and cousins have been fishing Loon Lake for over two decades now. Maybe they are how it got its name. We didn't plan on doing any fishing at Loon this time around, but couldn't pass up the opportunity to see the lake alive with vibrant fall colors. Once we had our fill and wandered the old sites for a bit, we set off to our fishing destination of Lower Twin Lake. Going in the middle of the week, we weren't surprised, but were content enough to find the lake quiet. Or at least as quiet as it can be, given its proximity to the highway. Dad set off right away to fishing, and while he never could quite catch a fish sizable enough by regulations to take home, he still caught six rainbow trout that would certainly be ready for a cookout next year. The lake having been stocked this past year made for a grand buffet of trout that no one can legally take home, just yet. A canoe would have been great for letting a line out past the drop off and into the colder depths where the larger fish dwell. We didn't just sit and fish. 
We also got a fire going so we could have a bit of a cookout lunch. Hot dogs being a cheap and easy cook fire standard, especially when just hopping out of the car with a cooler, we jazz them up with some bacon and spicy maple dale cheese. After lunch, I sat and did some writing, and filming obviously, and Marla pulled out the Nikon to try and get some pictures of a finicky squirrel who kept evading her shots by jumping from branch to branch up a tree. When all was said and done, we didn't just pack up our own garbage, but went about collecting cigarette butts, about 40 screws and nails, old worm containers, broken glass, and a small collection of other refuse to tidy up the space. One of our biggest pet peeves is to stumble upon a beautiful sight outdoors, to find it trashed to some degree by people who apparently care or appreciate very little of just what the natural world provides for us. Yes, get the fun outside, but clean up after yourself. And if the situation calls for and allows it, clean up after others as well. It takes little effort to show others how to appreciate this world we're all part of. We're all going to be sharing the same dirt at some point, so we may as well care for that patch of dirt. On the drive home, we got to see the autumn colors from a different perspective and enjoyed them just as much. It's the perfect time to get the fun outside. So what are you waiting for? Mm -hmm.